So it's day 46. I'm here in uh, just north of Lompoc, right on, right off of Harris Grade Road at uh, Burton Mesa. And I was going to stay here through the day. I was thinking about whether I wanted to stay here through the day or, you know, pack up about five and get out right after the rain is going to stop. But um, I see my next rainstorm is coming uh, Friday night. And uh, the only place I, can, I got between here and well, my next spot that I could pitch my tent and ride out the rain is actually at a campground in Oceano. So the 20 bucks I got yesterday is going to totally, totally cover that. And uh, the thing is, though, I got to make my next destination point. So I got 15 miles to do today, 15 miles to do tomorrow and then 10 miles to do um, on Friday and get there before 6 and get my tent set up before 6 because um, that's when the rainstorm's coming. It's going to rain from like 6 at night till 2 in the morning, so getting the campsite is, you know, pretty much what I'm going to have to do. I'm not trying to stay awake between 6 and 2 hiding underneath an umbrella. So, yeah, I... Um, the rain has let up for the moment. I don't know if it's going to let up for the rest of the day here or not. That's another reason why I should just get up and go. Um, there's a trail or whatever right, I don't know, about 10 feet from where we, where I'm at right now. So, And I've been hearing people walking through the rain and whatnot. I don't know if they can see me or not, and I'm not trying to get busted. So, yeah, I'm going to cleaning up my mess, uh, make sure I leave no trace, and then I'm uh, going to head on out. And I've got my trusty umbrella, so if the rain does come like I'm expecting it to, I'll just be hiking in the rain underneath my umbrella. <laughs> All right, time for me to head out. Not even five minutes ago, I was wishing for something to, to kill the cotton mouth. Something besides all the water I got. And I'm on this long, lonely country road, really. And uh, no shoulder, as you can see. Got cars flying by me. And I'm looking down on the ground. Or, um, I happen to look down on the ground. And there is an unopened bottle of Sprite. I saw it was full. I looked. I saw the lid's not even um, off. And it's still... You know, you can tell it's never been opened. <laughs> Not even five minutes ago I was wishing for this. Look what the angels left me. <laughs> this is so fucking cool. This is the magic. I can show you. Just keep watching. Keep following. I'll keep showing it to you. Look at that storm, that's all rain and it's coming right at me. Got more rain up there. Yeah. And 
I'm actually feeling a couple little sprinkles here and there. Yeah, so uh, it's time for me to uh, sew my backpack on, pop open my umbrella, and start just walking through this crap. Might even try to toke my bowl real quick. All right, guys. Yeah, time for me to go. Normally I'd be irritated as fuck by the damn raid. I gotta tell you, like I had to put out my bowl and everything, but I just saw that magic. That's just so fucking cool. Both of them. Ah, it was just so fucking cool. <laughs> See, even when it's rough out here, there's still magic everywhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> All right, I gotta keep on trekking through this crap. So right now, <clears throat> yeah. So right now, I have a fucking shooting pains going right down my fucking leg, straight through my fucking ankle, and where I'm at, which you've just seen, there is no me really stopping off, and I gotta go. I got mileage. I have to get done if I want to get myself safe from the damn next rainstorm coming so <sighs> this is just what I fucking gotta do cool thing is is it's not raining so I'm able to use my umbrella like a fucking cane and that's pretty much what I'm fucking doing right now <sighs> I take the cannabis oil but I ain't trying to get knocked the fuck out that spray stuff I'm gonna let y'all try cause it don't do shit for me Sorry, dude. Uh, I tried. I tried on a daily. I, it doesn't do a thing for me. Pain's still there after I fucking use it. It doesn't go away. <sighs> Anyways, at least my view is fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm done videoing. Fuck this. Later.
So I'm walking along the highway. I should have asked dude if I could roof video him too. Damn. But um, I'm walking along the highway and this guy stops. This guy and this girl, they stop. And they're like, man, we saw you walking about a couple hours ago. And like, if we saw you still walking, we'd offer you a ride. Well, I'm not taking a ride. I'm trying to walk every single step. And um, I've been wishing for a beer. <laughs> I'm not shitting you guys. I've been wishing for a beer. And like I, I got some uh got some cereal and I got some tortilla and the peanut butter, but I was kinda wishing for maybe something else to eat as well, you know? My God, it's just uh, so much love. It's every single day. I wasn't even, I, I was not expecting this at all. As a matter of fact, they stopped and then I kind of heard them stop. So I turned around and I'm like, yeah, some people stopped and they opened up the door and st I started chatting with them. Um, yeah, there's just so much love out here, guys. It's every single day, every single day, even on a long, lonely highway. <laughs> I find it everywhere. Angels are everywhere, guys. They're everywhere. Just keep your eyes open. And keep watching, keep following, and I'll keep showing you the magic. <laughs>
So wish me luck. All right, it is time for me to head on. So here I am, I'm in Orchid. I'm at Charlie's Burgers Plus. I decided to stop here to uh, get something really good to eat and then uh, kill a little bit of time because I'm actually gonna try to go stealth nap at the golf course. Um, it's about two and a half miles from here, so it's about an hour and 20 minutes or so for me. And I'm gonna like run up in there and just try to like lay down and nap until about three in the morning. And then I'll hurry up and get up and get going before the rain hits and then walk through the early morning rain for a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm exhausted. I've done 14 miles so far, uh, maybe even 15 at this point. But, um, yeah, I got like a whole big, this whole thing like, is how it is. It's uh, half eaten already. It was only two bucks. And this big ass burger, um, not even, I don't think it's even five bucks. Uh, I think it was like 4.89 or four, I think it's 4.99. Um, great spot. And it's a, it's a double burger. Cheese, yeah. All right, I'm gonna wolf this down and uh, hopefully my body will ease up a little bit. And then I'll have to make my way on. That's how big that burger is. I freaking, that, it's huge. This is huge. And it's gonna taste so good. <laughs> Hell yes, it's gonna taste so good. Again, I had to turn this one down though. So this guy pulled on over and, uh, and started talking with me and he offered, offered to pay for me to get up to Seattle. He was gonna buy me a train ticket. And I'm like, I can't, dude, I'm trying to walk every mile. I'm like, I don't even wanna take a ride. Um, and so I, I sat, we sat here right here on the side of this road um, and I told him my story. We sat here probably chatting for like five, ten minutes. Um, got a new fan now. <laughs> yeah, this is so fucking cool. Like I, I, he's like, well, do you need some shoes? Do you, you know, he was, he was literally trying to see if there was anything, anything he could possibly give me to help me along the way. Um, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm floored. I'm floored. There's so much love out here, guys. There's so much love. Um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. He's like, I don't care how much the tickets cost. I'll get, I'll get you a ticket. I'll get you a ticket. I'm like, no, man, no. I'm on, like, day 46, day 47. I'm, like, walk 360 miles. He goes, oh, that's too far. That's too far. Uh, there's so much love out here. I'm, like, I'm mind blown. Mind blown. <laughs> All right. I got to make my way on.
And here's the Amtrak station that that guy would have dropped me off at and bought my ticket up to Seattle. Right there's where I slept.